Hello everyone, welcome to episode 9. Um, enjoy. I can't pull the bolt, where's the bolt? Uh, get off me. Get off, get off, get off. I need to grab my... Grab it. This is jammed. Is there anything useful in here at all? Guess this is where Oh It's like a little cleanup area. But oh, I need it to be there. What is that a that's a okay, that's a container ship. Where's the No, I need where's the thingy? way out which way is out I would like to come into the out now I've just done the full loop of this building I accomplished nothing no I'm just gonna go through this one Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to die here. my rifle <laughs> and it's a dead end of course it's a dead end why wouldn't it be a dead end dead ends about to make my, me a dead end so that's the gym please gymnasium yes Grab onto my gun. Oh, crap. Get off. Let me get out of here. Let me move. Let me move. Let me move. Let me move.
You know what, screw it, shotgun time. This is definitely the end. Just gonna run around him. I didn't want to get caught there. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. One hand a shotgun. I need to find a trick point. Hey zombies, buddy, you wanna just scram real quick? to thin out the numbers so I can get back there quicker. My 3, 2, 1 sprint. Oh, I am deep, deep shizer. Why isn't my gun working? Can't pull it back. Hey, well, gymnasium's right there. I searched literally every building, except for the gymnasium. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. That sucks very much. That sounds packed inside. How do I get into the gym?
Daytime. Yay. I only died once. Ah, crap. Gymnasium, yes. Anything in here I can use as a mail oil other than a spoon. Frying pan? Yeah, let's try it. Oh, I'm shaking. I don't know why. It's just a video game, but it's scary when you're in VR. Ooh, that doesn't look pleasant down there. Casey, the goddamn wine. I'm about to put my fist through his teeth. We did what we had to do. Live with it. End the story. How the fuck that bean pole made it through basic is beyond me. Soft as a melted fucking marshmallow. Different story with Kenny. I respect the guy, but that doesn't mean he gets a pass. The questioning has to stop. We had to protect what was rightfully ours. This bunker is our home. The supplies are our lifeline. If we did not defend it, we'd have all been dead within two weeks. Now we can last months, maybe longer. We can survive this. A brutal decision was made, but we have to fucking stand by it, unified. If Kenny and Casey don't fall in line soon, I'll have no problem marching them out of the bunker door with a gun to the back of their heads. Oh, that guy didn't seem very nice. Yes! I don't know how long the recording's been going for, and quite frankly, I don't care at the moment. Uh, but yes, that goes there. That's not good. Yeah, lady, come on. It lied to me. It doesn't do anything. But this does. craft on the go but there isn't and if there is I am just a numpty and I have not figured it out Off of me.
That was a close one. <laughs> oh crap, another one. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Steal all our shit. It's dog eat fucking dog now, and I'm the monster. I don't understand what's up when you go through something like that together. Something that ugly but necessary. You develop a bond to the group, no doubt. The other two, fuck them. They don't get it. Casey acting like he's innocent. Bunch of bullshit. And Kenny with this moral high horse routine, not gonna put up with it much longer. I'm watching. They so much as blow a fucking fart in my direction. I'll put their asses down. Zero hesitation. Only the ruthless will survive this shit. Well, I found where two of their friends went. Can I get out of here now? Off of me, you. <laughs> and I died again. This is probably going to be the longest episode yet. I'll deal with you guys now so I don't have to deal with you later. Thank you. And this is why you don't stay out at night. Hey, it's just like Minecraft. side. <sighs> I really should have came all prepared. 
Don't have time for you. Oh, my legs got shaky then. <laughs> Hopefully you can't hear my breathing through the mic. But I am heavy breathing right now. Any weapons of any sort. That would be lovely. Even a bottle. Anything. <sighs> as long as I get to my stuff. Yeah, okay. And there goes my only other weapon. Get off with me, lady. That is not very nice. <clears throat> I remember a room with a lot of bottles. Just don't like these guys. Where's that room? I find the room which had weapons. <coughs> Frying pans don't make good weapons, apparently. But a spoon might. A screwdriver definitely will.
Hey, my rifle from earlier, which is completely out of ammo. Say hello to my friend Spoon. Be lovely. Let's just go out the other door, shall we? And I've got no bandages. Ooh, hello. going to lose my stamina too quick and then I will die. <coughs> Best weapon. I've got sweaty palms now, <laughs> this isn't good. Well, I mean, neither is that guy napping, but he shouldn't really be doing it in the hallway. going out at night. Oh. My legs are going like jelly. It'd be lovely if I had that uh, frag grenade from earlier. Yes, yes it would.
the only thing I got now is to search these lockers. Hope they got something in them, which this one does. What have you got? Absolutely nothing except cigarettes, which is useless to me. Same as matches, the shoes, I need a bottle, screwdriver, or even a gun, but here. Yeah. Is that a screwdriver? Nope, that's a jerky stick. I could just leave here like a regular person and be sensible, which is what I was thinking of doing. Yes, meds. It's glue, it's razor blades. Lighter. A spoon that could be used as a weapon. Glue again. Showers, is there anything in here? Ah, I can get two more zombie kills. How long has this been going for? I gotta check. My hands are shaky. I'm assuming an hour. Yeah, an hour and 20 minutes. Alright, I might cut this video up into two parts. That's the two kills I can get. Why are you guys out here? <coughs> get off, get off, get, and I'm dead. Ah. Three, two, one, speed run. <laughs> There's literally no weapons around here, but I need that stuff. I'm gonna grab it, get out, and go. Oh, which way? Out of here. Pretty much past that zombie. Oh, 
son. See ya. <laughs> With my stuff. <sighs> but didn't fully complete the mission, which is gonna bug me because in games like this I'm perfectionist. But uh yeah. I've got something else to add up my collection. Oh, a few more things actually. Gonna start running out of space. <coughs> I'll start putting down here. And down there. Oh, I can put these down here. This guy, with his friends, and this goes down here with the others. Okay, uh, edit on me, which will be me in two days, I don't know. Uh, time lapse. Hi. I think that's all done now. Oh, I need to pick that up. I'm trying to see if the sheriff's badge is still back there. Yes, got it. Hi. Oh. Yeah, let's do it. You there, Casey? I'm back. Hey, tourist. Did you discover anything? I found Kenneth. You did? Is he still alive? No. He's dead. But he told me some interesting things before it was over. Shit. Rest in peace, Kenny. My friend. What did he tell you? He wanted me to tell you something. You want to know what he said? Yes, of course. What did he say? He said you're a good guy. Not to feel guilt about what happened outside the bunker. To let the massacre go. He told me all about it. From his perspective. But I am curious about yours. Well, if he told you what happened, why do you need to hear it from me? You know what you need to know, right? And you've told me my friend is dead, so we can move on, yeah? I know it must be hard, Casey, to talk about it. But it's okay. Tell me what happened. Yeah, you're right, tourist. It's not easy for me. There was a massacre. Three dozen people, at least. Civilians, right at the reserve entrance. Innocent people that we should have been protecting. I should have done something to stop it, but I didn't. I stood there, a coward. And now I don't sleep. I have a nervous twitch in my right hand that gets more pronounced every day, and the guilt is like a ten-ton weight crushing my chest. Are you satisfied now? Those are just facts, Casey. 
I already know the facts. What I need to know is your perspective on the whole thing. There's a reason why you can't sleep. You're twitching like a junkie and your chest feels like it's caving in. Okay, quit badgering me, please. I'll talk, just... Give me a second to, to gather my thoughts. It's all... fucking foggy. The whole thing escalated really fast. The first bullet was Foster. I wanted to scream no, but it's like I just left my body. Everything after that moment, it's, it's like a nightmare. Jess and Trent started firing. Jess, she, she was... she was smiling. Kenneth hesitated. He looked right through me, like he expected me to have his back. But I did nothing. So he started firing. After that, all I've been able to retain are weird details. Oh, the sounds. A hat. A cross. Man. Sometimes when I'm here lying, trying to sleep, I can actually feel my fingers shaking on the trigger of my rifle. Even though I haven't touched the thing since the day it happened. The feel of the trigger. Did you pull it? Yeah. I didn't want to, but... I did. Basic training kicked in. Follow orders, no matter what. But I don't know if I killed anyone. I, I may have. Thing is, I'll, I'll never know. Maybe that's worse than actually knowing for certain that I did. What do you hear when the sounds come? The sound of terror. Please. The gunfire. My own shouts. The thump of bodies hitting the floor. This, this cacophony will just swell up inside my head when I least expect it. This chaos. But I can still pick out every single fucking sound. I just can't shake it. A cross? Like in a church? What's that all about? Yeah. It's fucking strange, tourist. I see it. Real close up. Everything around it is hazy. Bullets chewing it up. Splintering the wood. From my church back home. The one my mom used to drag me to. You know, but that makes no sense. Well, it's just my mind fucking with me. Guilt digging in deep, I guess. Fearing judgment. He mentioned a hat. What hat? There was this old man. Shielding his wife. He had on this bright blue fishing hat, and I watched a flurry of bullets rip it right off in this spray of blood and... <laughs> and this fucking hat, I swear to God, it's the exact same hat my uncle used to wear. And the bullets drove it into the wall, and, and it, it, it hung there for a second, dripping. And then it flopped onto the floor. The image, I just, I, I can't get it out of my head. I'm worried it'll be there forever. And I keep thinking... Was it me? Did I shoot those bullets? You never know for sure, Casey. That's exactly right, tourist. And I can't fucking deal with that. Listen to me, Casey. Carefully. What happened outside the bunker, it's not your fault. That is clear to me, it was clear to Kenneth. You need to find a way to make it clear to yourself. Yeah, I know. You're right, tourist. But it's... Uh, it's not easy. It's gonna take a lot of fucking work. Hey, maybe when this is all over, I can hire you to be my therapist. <laughs> I charge 300 bucks an hour. Don't think you can afford that on National Guard money. Yeah, probably not. Look, tourist, this little chat, it's worn me the fuck out. And I've got rewiring to do to keep from getting electrocuted next time I use this radio. Not that it really fucking matters. Doubtful I'm getting out of here alive. 
Without that key that has everyone riled up, this is all a waste of time. I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you later, I guess. Well, that was dark and deep, and that was, um... Yeah. I need to tell Casey about the key, so is he going to contact me or do I contact him? <sighs> Day 18, early morning. <sighs> I've been doing this one episode for an hour and a half, like almost an hour and a half. <sighs> so I'm going to split it up into two videos. Casey, you there? Casey, you there? Casey, good news. Good news? Hell, oh, tourist. I would classify that as fucking outstanding news. No, look, I, I don't want to jinx it, but... No, uh... You know what? I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Best not to risk the jinx. Let let's just forge ahead. One step at a time. Okay, so, um... The part to repair the final pump. Gosh, I, I I don't have much to go on. It's weird. There's been really faint chatter about it on a few channels. And been nothing but static for months. Uh, th there's an outpost called Bastion, set up in a heavily defended duplex home. Uh, barricades and optimal sight lines. The reclaimed currently control it. Now, the place has been a hotbed of conflict between Tower and Reclaimed for a while. From what I'm hearing, that's where it is. So be ready for a shitstorm. Good luck, and hey, keep your head on a swivel. Difficult to maintain a state of mind, given the situation you're in. All right. Well, uh, got the new thing, but uh, I'm gonna end this episode off, and uh, yeah, I'll probably put it into two episodes and record another one. Pretty much as soon as I finish recording this one. Just gonna have something to eat, drink, and yeah. Well, that's it for today's episode, and the, probably an extra one, so uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>